Hello everyone, I am back with another Solane play-by-play. This time I'm going to be playing Ares. Have you seen this creature? That's what he says when you pick this skin. Um, kind of no reason to pick him besides that he's just kind of a fun god. He's kind of a fun guy. <laughs> and a uh, little Ka Kawhi Leonard there for you guys, for you NBA fans. Um... But yeah, and then I think, um, maybe, maybe he's slightly underrated. You know, he counters a lot of, uh, gods that people like to pick. Mobility, like a lot of the warriors and everything like that. But also, with, um, the, the changes they made to his three a, a while ago, and, um, the build path that you can go with, like, the cheap mystical mail and the void stone, like, he does some damages, let me tell you. I'm gonna do something a little bit weird today. I'm gonna rush straight into purple boots, okay? Just because, I mean, I don't really have a great star item to go. Like, uh, Mage's Blessing obviously isn't very gay. Warrior's Blessing is okay. I can get um, the procs of that. I don't really have a lot of long, long range poke besides my chains to proc it. But I mean, I mean, it's fine. Don't get me wrong, it's fine. But it's, uh, once I get it fully stacked, is where it's really good. But I'm just gonna do something a little bit different because everybody knows if you're if you're an Ares main or if you're like you play against Ares or maybe you hate playing against Ares, everybody knows once you get full boots on Ares, it's GG, it's game over, you know what I mean? So um, I'm just gonna rush purple boots and run into my lane with a blink. It's gonna be a little bit crazy. Start blue. Okay. Obviously gonna grab my three. Hell. On my way. You have the right voice back going nice. Ooh. Ooh. I'll just go ahead and blink here. Baron's gonna be starting lane. He doesn't have a mage's blessing, so his clear won't be amazing, but his one cooldown's pretty low, so it'll be fine. I'll be able to insta kill these phantoms with my three. I also one shot this buff. Look at this damage. Oh, that was a bad hog. You don't want to hog that. You should hog the back, but it's okay. We get five minions, which means we do hit level two. Baron will hit level 2 if the jungler saved the blue form, which he did. The only problem with this star is that you don't have pots, so you gotta be real careful if you're sustained. So god, god like, uh, god like Hades, obviously you don't really have to worry that much just because you're gonna be doing so much in lane. But look at this damage. Mm, I missed the last little chain there. I missed the last hit for it. I, I wanted to get the autos in because if I didn't get the autos in, I wouldn't have been able to kill him. I don't want to get hit by that. Okay, so now I'm on HP and he took me out because I tanked the minions because I went for a kill play. But it's no big deal. I have totem right now and I can back. I'm going to lose some XP for this, but it's going to be worth it in the long run, right? So I have this now. Um, I went for the kill play with the boots 3 at level 1 and that he wouldn't expect. Barely like didn't get it because I didn't hit my last chain with after the auto attacks. Right, and um, now I just run back with totem and my movement speed from boots. And I'll miss some minions, but it's not that big of a deal, all right? Usually when you you get forced to back, it's it's because like it's a bad it's bad when it's um like really near blue buff or something, then get something extra off of it. Me, I just missed like three minions here, but it's at level two chains, so I think we can kill. Yeah, this should be a kill unless his pot save him. They did for now, but he's kinda just not running to his Oh we got we got that heal. He should be running to his tower right now. Because he's not, he dies. After juking or trying to like uh, live for however long he did there, he should have just run straight to his tower. This guy's out of mana. And kill this guy too. Oh, uh, unless there's an Erling here. Ebo should be dead though. The only reason. Oh no! The root saved him. The only reason the Baron lived was because he had double pots going. And Baron's brute plus this thing. Oops, gotta hit those. First game of the day. Oh, let's go for the blue. Should do a lot of damage to this. Should be a kill too. Nice. They're really fighting into the Boots 3 Aries early on. Like I said, I mean, Boots 3 Aries is something to be afraid of. I'm about to get my ult, so. Mm, gotta hit this. Like I said, first game of the day. We're blaming that. 
I'm gonna get ganked again. I just know I am. That's just how people like that think. Ultimate is ready. Follow me. Follow me. You want a free kill, Apollo? Follow me, dude. Never mind. Did I get this on my own? Oh, he has beads. Oh, we're not getting in there. No problem. Not a problem. I'm just gonna back. I just realized he had beads. That makes a lot more sense. I thought he had TP and TP back in that time, but he didn't. This is an action-packed game so far. I've already missed like three chains, but we won't talk about it. They call me. They call me three chains. The three chains mister. I actually do love me some uh, Mary Solo. I played. Uh, I played actually a good bit of it. I used to play it sometimes in the Arthur, just because I thought it was a good counter matchup and. It's just like fun, just like a fun matchup to do. But only problem with this build, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Void Stone into Mystical. Only problem with that is I won't have CDR, but that's okay. I'll do so much damage that as long as I hit my first set of abilities, they'll just kind of get one shot. Enemies incoming left. Be careful. Okay. Get our vision chart out. We want to go for this blue. Should do the tracking for us. Oh, it's early in jungle. He's got tank boots as well. That is so bad. In my opinion, I go this way. I can get this heal off. Took a lot of damage there, and what kind of shown? Oh no! That sucks. That Baron made the counter rotation, and we did kill the hell though. The tank boots actually saved him there. It's pretty funny. I say that there, it's bad, and then he gets saved from it. But that's okay. If it saves in one situation, I don't think it's worth it. It's gonna be pretty slow across the map. That sucks that, uh, this is actually a pretty bad matchup for Ares, especially because I don't have beads. The Baron's just gonna be able to ult me on cooldown. I won't be able to get out. And if he ever hits me with his root, he'll just full combo me as well. Usually, uh, against Baron, you want a character that can immediately get out of the root and the ult, and I can't do either. Except for maybe use my ult, but... He just was doing totem. I mean, I kind of committed to that rotation, but thought maybe it would end up being good for us. They do have sustain, L, Erlang, Baron. So the longer the fights go, the worse it'll be for us because they'll out heal us. We don't have any healing. Thanks. Guys, yeah, clear is horrible. Tier two trans. Guys, ult and B. I don't know if his beads are still down, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Sorry. A big one. Oh my anymore. goodness! Oh, I dropped the kill. No, I didn't. Wait, didn't he just ult? What? Hello? How did he literally get his ult back up that quickly? I died to it. I come straight back to lane. And blink ult him and then his ult back up. That's a drop kill. Miss chains. Enemy spotted. Be careful. On my way. My blink ult is down. I do have three magical. This void zone's gonna get a ton of value. On my way. I can rotate here just because Baron's back, but enemy spotted. Yeah, we're good. Be right back. Just finish our void zone real quick. Ready the Our reward. I'm ready for battle. <clears throat> need to warm up. We need to warm up, don't we? This guy's going breastplate. What the heck? Kind of sad because he lived because of the Baron heal, but also because I missed my chains. But we'll live to see another day. He's actually a bit of a, got a bit of an XP lead on me now. I'm gonna level my two just for the auto cancel. Enemy spotted. Ares is really bad at doing totems because his um, percentage health that he has on his three doesn't work on the totem. Oh, he switched to void stone. On my way. On my way. They also have freaking hell, bro. They have some good matchups into me. Let's 
go. Attack. Keep going. We can do this. Alright, I didn't really talk much. I had to focus up. Make sure I hit my abilities this time around. Uh, he get his root, but I won't be able to... We can go for the flu. Actually, we might be able to surprise him here with a little blink kill. Completed. Oh no, don't hit your heal in time! No way! No way! I towered over him and he barely gets to see on the end of the hell's there. I guess I was dead either way, but I thought I would be able to get the DPS off this void stone plus warrior's blessing. Made him pretty tanky to me there. Curses. You Enemies in left lane. Now they're hells in left lane. What's going on here, man? Oh wait, what? They have two junglers. I guess one of them is like double jungle support or something. Thanks. How does the hell come straight from base back to that lane when she's the mid laner? That's my biggest pet peeve. The biggest pet peeve is when people literally like immediately return to a lane after dying. It's like cancel that. It's just so troll, you know what I mean? Your left tower is under attack. They don't have, they don't have any better... Th oh my goodness, because no. They don't have better things to do, you know what I mean? But yeah, whenever you pick Ares, it's more of a counter pick, and this matchup isn't great, but I've also just been kind of trolling around and running around doing crazy stuff. Getting, getting crazy with it, you know? Let me save my tower here. No tower. That last death, I kind of felt like my DPS wasn't going to be enough, but we had to commit, you know? We had to commit to the tower dive. No way we're just going to pussy out, you know what I mean? Excuse my French. Enemy missing. <laughs> Only problem with Ares is that he has a, a little bit of a hard time clearing waves and running around and clearing stuff, but... Why don't you get that mystical online, man? You are... You become a hyper farmer. Start farming like a freaking Kali would. Right, like with, with Golden Blade and four items, or maybe not even a Kali, maybe like a Mercury with Golden Blade. Old school Golden Blade that worked on his one. It's gonna be so risky for me to proxy here. Especially because his hell is incoming. That's what I'm talking about. Look, this hell is making this rotation so troll. Oh. The beast. Capriol, thank you. What a beast. Be careful, Apollo. They're gonna just... They're gonna heal up so much. They four men rotated the proxy. He didn't clear the wave though, which is pretty troll, because then the tower's one HP. Get him, Thoth. Get some return damage off. Problem is they're just gonna heal it all. Hell, Hebo, Erling, Baron. I can't think of a better just like... Little, um. Had a little, like, skirmish. Just like a little, little small fight team. Defend the gold On fury. I killed this the last week. On my way. Those All right, the gold on. fury. Defend it. On my way. Defend the gold they have fury. no baron all. I'm pretty sure hell beads. Somebody beads. Maybe it was baron. Defend. Somebody's beads are down. We, we know that much. We know that much. Hell. Attack. Oh my goodness, man. What am I missing these? Could be a kill either way. Oh, no, maybe not. He actually gets the heal. No way. I'm gonna chase him out. No, and then the harpy puts me in combat, man. Okay, anyways. Actually can't deal with these freaking heals, man. If he dead. dead. Nice. And we kill Baron? Oh, that's a beat. Nice. It's freaking uh, hell in a casual, man. It's so annoying. Getting in there. Attack. Oh, he's crippled. He's an honor, don't worry. Nice! Good good follow-up fight for us. I mean, they get gold, but they get greedy with it and stay after and try and fight. I also um, kind of dropped the kill on Hebo because I tried to hit my chains right after his ult and messed it up. It's okay. See? We all mess up. You just got to keep your head in it. Even when you're missing abilities, you got to not tilt so that the future abilities in the game 
you still you still have it, you know? You still have the opportunity. Cause you don't want to just start missing abilities because because you're tilted. You can miss abilities because you're bad. <laughs> uh, what do we even go here? Maybe just curse tonk. We kind of need it. They have so much sustain. I don't know if Kepri's gonna go it, but I'm, I might as well go it. We get a little bit more damage from mystical, just not only from the mystical passive, but also from our Ares passive that gives us power from ore items and. Mystical is considered an ore item, so Voidstone also as well. So right now we're getting um, more power than we would have on any other character, basically. Not any other character, but most characters. Some characters have power, like, somewhere in their kit randomly, you know. This guys, Baron, the beads are down. Whenever you're playing against Baron, you gotta... It's really like a mind game. Whenever you see that they're, like, looking at you, you kind of just have to look to force their root out and not let them hit it and, like, space for it or... Uh oh you know, like, he's gonna use his root there, so I would step there to the left. He doesn't have his beads, but he has his ult, so if I ult him, I'll just ult. I do want to go on him, though. I think I will do some good damage to him. Oh, I was gonna try and avoid it there, but keep in mind that Mystical is magical damage. So, if they have magical de uh, defense, then it'll do a little bit less to him. Or she does. Oh, that almost hit. That's too bad. He didn't get his heal off, which is exactly what we want. If, we're, our, if we are to out-trade him, dude, our, our team is getting power dough. Oh, hell, man. Look at this, dude. Right tower has been no way! Dude, they're just death balling with hell. It's actually so lame. I had to do that because I didn't want to get hit by the Baron ult. And he's actually going to live. I should have cursed Tonk maybe here, but I can do it now. Oh my god, kill the Hebo. Sacrificing myself for the Hebo, which I'm not going to kill, man. No, I thought you gotta hit those, man. Help me. No, and I'm dead. This is actually so lame. They do. They just have so much healing because of the stupid hell. Oh, attack. Oh my gosh, stop. Come on, bro. At least our South has Divine. They're not gonna kill that guy. This Apollo doesn't have boots, I just realized. That's not good. Oh, nice. He hit those at least. Nice. Let's go. Nice one. Oops. I, mean, I said no, but I said, I, I was uh, trying to say nice job, but I said no. <laughs> what aura item are we going next? I think we just go Pridwin, honestly. We need the CDR. Obviously not an aura item, but... Maybe if I cursed on at the beginning of that fight, it would have been good. And also if I had it upgraded, it would have made everything better, but... I'm on my way. Attack! Oh, get in there. Nice. Good kill. Attack. Yeah, he's going to run. That Erling is kind of tanky now. We don't just need to keep fighting. This is really just an arena match. It's disguised as a conquest match, but it's an arena. Oh, look at my mystical killing, killing little ghost minion. I need some farm. We are top everything besides gold right now. That means I need farm. <laughs> Did you push my wave? <laughs> not going anywhere. We really need to be getting that tower. We are mighty, mighty close. Really, just upgrade my curse sunk, I think. Yeah, it's back. Right back. On my way. We're down 5k, but if we can win a fight, that'll be a that'll be an amazing feat. We can do this. And we can win a fight five K down against a freaking hell. No Full CDR with a Genji. She actually has a Genji. Enemy that is actually so kill. lame. I'm gonna do much less damage to her. This guy's got double life steal. Like the amount of sustain is just Enemy gonna spotted. make me puke. It's gonna make me vomit. This hell's out of position, attacker. Get into her. Nice. Nice, huge pick. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what you want against the hell. Nice, 
Good trees for us, boys. Group up. Attack. Middle lane. We can get in there. This will be good. It's death no bead. Oh, I wasn't able to get my ult on. That's like... I got at least two. This is active. Maybe I should have changed behind there. Should be dead either way. Nice, mystical. No, dude. Wait, what happened to what happened to us? We killed our backliners, Hebo. I mean, I killed Hein. That's a good trade, but I thought we were gonna be able to keep going there. Hebo must have done some work on our backline. Unfortunate. Just basically initiated after that that gold period because the hell is still dead, and that's kind of like their key to success in the fight, just because he has so much sustain. He's my curse knock anyway, because they have like Hebo life steal. This guy's got life steal, and they have Erlang ult, and you know. Bearing twos and stuff, so it's still worth it, but that, uh, that's unfortunate. I probably should have changed that Heim. Chained him with my last hit instead of chaining the Erling. But it was pretty troll that I was diving them. There were three people on me, but somehow there was three people in our back line and one of us died and we didn't kill whoever dove them. I think it was the Hebo. Okay. Unfortunate, but it's okay. See? I need I need a I need to increase my vocabulary. I always say the word unfortunate. I mean it's a good word and feel free to use it. But <laughs> like you don't already use the normal word. They're not going anywhere. If you're wondering, I literally I literally woke up like 30 minutes before this game and decided to log on and get a little, little gameplay. And just kind of decided in the moment to play Aries. So that's the state of this game right now. But we're warming up the chains. We're warming up the chains. By the end of this game, we'll be hitting at least 30% of our chains every time we use the ability. I mean... That's a good percentage, if you ask me. We're still at like 10%. Drop the bait. Get rip up. Attack. Unfortunate that they have cleanse. Not only for Kepri, but for my CC as well. They can just they actually have such a sick comp into us. Thank you, Kepri, thank it. Nice. This should be a kill. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. I got three and a curse donk. Indeed. Uh, I wasn't able to hit him. This is not going to be good. Retreat. Get out of there, Thoth. This is so rough, man. Look, they're all still full health now. Cringe comp, dude. It's really a cringe comp. I ain't talking like the, the the Shrek snaps picture and adds it to his cringe comp. I'm saying cringe composition, not compilation. I'm actually quite tanky though. That is for certain. Maybe we just go a Pestilence now for some anti-heal. We already have the upgraded Curse Song. Oh, this guy already has Pestilence. Tajin and Pestilence don't stack, so no reason to go that. And I guess um, we have a Brawlers, we have Divine. I mean, we got what we got. What we need. The problem is that fucking Sustain and Smite is so stupid. I mean, you don't have great communication, great dive on the targets you need to go on. Then, And obviously, I do not. I don't have a good, good matchup into their carries or their picks at all, really. And especially if I miss my abilities. But at least he uses Heimel on me. That means he's dead. This is our chance. Maybe we can go fire here. That's our only opportunity to win this game, I think. We get those little picks like that, though. It's good. Oh my gosh, he's really getting in there. Wait, be careful. I curse my cup in three. Your team has destroyed a metal enemy tower. It's like the heart word with this. I mean, they have a, mag a lot of magical, and we could use the we could use the magical defense. All of us. The cell has no beats, and she just used her cleanse. That should be a kill. Come on. 
Really? How is she not dead, bro? She's actually out too. She's about to get another ability. How, how is she not dead? She's going defense. She Aegis the pole, but also... We have four damage dealers on our team, basically. I mean, I guess three, but there's like three carries. And she didn't die in that Aries pull. That's insane. That might be game. Sometimes there's just nothing you could do. They, their, their comp is just too good for a casual game in the middle of the day. They have like four of the best characters that just like run around and just want to brawl nonstop. We also have an Apollo jungle, so it's not, not the greatest, but... We had something that could maybe get on the hell a little bit better, get on the Evo a little bit better. Not blaming anyone, that's not what I'm blaming. I think it's just just unfortunate blind pick into their picks and our picks and all that, but either way, I definitely haven't played this game this game great either. That is for certain. Woohoo! 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 I guess we're gonna work on this heart work. Can somebody hit this? It'll do a little bit for us. Just need to wait fifty gold, I'll just sit here in base and jump around. Jump around. We gotta defend the Titan anyway. It's gonna be tough for us. It will be. But it's something that we must try. There's only try. There is no try. I only do. Group up. I killed this Caesar last week. Doesn't look good on me. Basically, all I want to do in that team fight is try and get a ult on some priority targets that I knew be their beads were down because I knew they used in the last fight. So I hit Hell. I hit Baron. Baron had an ult. And then, uh. I'll just, I guess, live. Which is unfortunate. It happens. It doesn't make the play bad. And I think it was a good play. I just, you know, just think we maybe... Uh, maybe some people missed some stuff or didn't go on the, the hell at all or something. I don't know. That would have been an ideal to start to a fight, though, killing their healer. Enemies in left leg. There's three people in mid, guys. Pay attention. Okay. Got the Fridwin shield off. Oh, he almost hit the Thothal. How is there three people in mid and nobody else rotates? Like, they're not paying attention that there's not a lot of people in right. Yeah, this is just, this is just unfortunate. On the grand scale. So unfortunate. Hit them all. Oh, we're doing some actual damage. The damage is, what am I saying? We did some good damage there though, that's for sure. With the curse song. Good job. Thoth is getting his build online. The upgraded curse song plus the Thoth late game build. Actually kind of pop. So even though this guy has defense, it's not going to matter once this guy well, hopefully this guy gets some more percent pen. He'll just one shot him anyway. He has a very low health pool. So even if she goes some some defense, she's still pretty easy to kill. Got a lot of health. Are they gonna go Phoenix? I wonder if they're on Phoenix. Guess we would see him right now. No, they're not okay. Not a problem. We would have seen him by then. That's why I was just kind of hovering my back. Purple as well, I guess. Why not? Be right back. Kind of waited for them to see where they would be in the lane. I saw that cool. they pushed up in the lane, which means that they weren't pushing. So I kind of just could just stay and. Keep pushing. I guess I could go Thebes. I guess I could go Thebes just for that last bit of tankiness, another aura item. But, I mean, I, I feel Enemy like maybe spotted. I just go damage, man. Go a little divine. Just a little bit, another uh, no another bit of anti-heal to help us. I'm gonna do it. Cause it'll also increase our damage with that flat pen. Follow me. Retreat. We can win this game, guys. We just need to work together, okay? They are really chasing this guy down. I want to hit level 20. 
Full 20 would be big. Increased health. Proth. Final point in my ult. Mm. Too fast, too furious for me. Okay. Oh, nice drive by Kepri. I don't really want to walk into it, but... Ow. Holy moly, that damage. From a distance. The damage from a distance. You're right back. Be careful. They are running it down. This could be good for us. The Their fire should be off them. Follow me. Oh, I only got three. Oh, I got hell. Let's go, attack. Keep going here. I have a shield. Oh, nice pull. I'm on Hebo. Oh, he's 1 HP. Don't get hit by that. It's so obvious he's going to go for it. Nice. That's his only play he can make. This guy's crippled. Oh, missed the last one. Paul was on that guy, which is pretty cool. Kill Baron. Nice. We got him. Oh, and we still have kept real for the last of it. Oh, I'm still alive. He missed. Let's go. He's chained. It doesn't matter. Does it really not matter? No one's going to hit him with me. No one's going to hit him with me. Was Scotty not there the entire time? Be careful. She healing? Uh, unfortunate. Our Phoenix is up. We could have defended it. No. Oh, that Erling's dead at least. But I think Apollo could have just autoed that guy from a little bit of a distance. I mean, obviously I know he's low and he's probably scared, but if he just lets me sit there and chain the guy, this guy does a lot of damage to me just because I don't really have a ton of physical defense in the grand scheme of things. I get 40 from this and 30 from this, so 70 basically as much as Nemean gives, right? One item. But to be fair, I mean, they have to really triple mage when I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should just get Thebes last time so it can actually be tanky. It seems like we do enough damage anyway. We have an Apollo, we have a Scotty, we have a Thoth. Yeah, it's probably it's probably better for me to just go a little bit more tanky. On my way. Attack, fire giant. Get in there, we gotta do fire. Erling's done for 10. On my way. He's on golden right. It's gonna be enhanced though. Scotty needs to DPS it down. On my way. We need Thoth to go straight there. Maybe he can secure with his ult or his two. We can get if we can sneak this enhanced fire, this this is good. This is gonna be a chance for us. Down 16k and possibly still still can do this. It's getting low. Attack! Fire giant! Fire giant! Made this. Should do I'm gonna see if I was coming under. Attack! Fire giant! Oh, I didn't mean to ult there. I meant to use my G with your bees at least. Retreat! Defend the Titan! L seeds. Use them at like 3120, which means 3420, and then you subtract 20 seconds from it, so 34. 34, 34. I mean, now we're tryharding, okay? We gotta get this dub. Down down 15k. We can still get this dub. I really need to get the Thieves online and start stacking. The reason that Thieves is good to go last item, I don't know if uh, I've said this in another video or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna reiterate. The reason you can get it last item is that this is the point in the game where you're either sieging on them or they're sieging on you. So the minions are either going to be right in front of you or they're going to be coming to you like they are right now, right? They're pushing into us. Do not push up there. Retreat. They're going to be looking for a pick. We just need to play a little bit safe and then... But yeah, so you're going to get the minion stack pretty quickly. Like, you'll, you'll see. Let's see how fast I can get a stack, depending on how long this game actually goes for. On my way. We do have enhanced fire. We're down 15k, but still, like with enhanced fire, maybe it evens the odds a little bit here. The only person not level 20 is Kepri. Four levels from level 20 is actually a really big deal. That's a lot of health, a lot of prots, a lot of um, effectiveness about his abilities that you won't be getting. But we do want to push mid here just because we have a Phoenix down, so we don't want the fire minions to push into our Titan room. We don't really have a choice to push anywhere else. That right wave though is freaking stacked in their favor. It's not too stacked where it'll get the Phoenix. Attack. If we can get cleanse, I can I can pull the hell. Her bees are still down for 80 seconds. There's 80 seconds. 50 seconds. They're not upgraded. Use your cleanse, use your cleanse. She used it, she used it. Curse Tonk. Be careful, Kepri. Live. Oh no. Oh, we didn't get any value of our, our old either. Our thoughtful. Get him, Apollo. He's 1 HP. Thoth should be able to get some return damage off here. 
Maybe. No, that's unfortunate. That might be game. Another freaking insta kill hell, and somehow, I think, I think, uh, this ended up maybe being worth it. I think I hit a couple people with my ult as well. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit unfortunate. I think, uh, we had a chance to win the game there. They're still hitting the Titan into the things that that's just how it works. If you pull the Titan before, you pull the Titan before the Phoenix spawns, you can keep hitting it until you um, let go of it, basically. Until you let go of the aggro. But yeah, like I said, I mean, th this is a blind pick and a casual, and they had some of the best <laughs> counters to Ares. I mean, Hebo's good in Ares, he just bursts him, he has a slow immunity on the two. Hell's obviously very good because she can cleanse his ult. And Baron's very good because you can Ares kind of just immobile and can just suck him in, you know. Even Erling's like, I mean, Erling's actually kind of kind of just depends on how the game's going. I missed a lot of chains, but even at the end of the day, we did a lot of work and it was a fun game and we almost made the the comeback there at the end, kept our head in it. Um, but yeah, so I would suggest if you are gonna play Ares solo, use it as a counter pick. It's not something you can just blind pick or top pick or maybe even top three and just be happy about it, you know. You want to play into gods that will get owned by the cripple that aren't gonna be able to get out of your your chains very easily with slow immunity and stuff like that so yeah but either way it was a fun game i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay learned a thing or two perhaps and uh keep looking for content like this in the future and let me know what you guys want to see let's get we had that that's that phase where everybody was putting in the comments what, exactly what they wanted to see and why they wanted to see it because their goldfish was stolen or because they're their freaking tarantula was kidnapped or something like that, you know? So, uh, yeah, just let me know what you, wanna, you guys want to see, and I'll try and get those gameplays for you. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace out. Bye-bye.